Hello once again and welcome to the channel SL Games and Teaching Tips. Tell me, do your students enjoy cramming vocabulary and grammar? I'm sure they don't. Nobody does. But sometimes it's necessary. It's the only way to make progress in English. For example, when it comes to memorizing irregular verb forms. So in the next videos, I'm going to share SL games that will bring your students a lot of fun and at the same time will help them memorize irregular verb forms automatically and in a shorter period of time. And today, irregular verbs race. To begin with, write irregular verb forms on pieces of paper or cardboard like this, one card, one verb, and put them all around the classroom, face down. Divide students into two or three teams. Teams play in turns. Uh, every team has one minute to play. When the teacher says, ready, steady, go, every student in the team should pick up a card, run to the teacher and say the three forms of the verb on the card. Drink, drank, drunk. The teacher says yes, takes the card and the student quickly runs away to look for another verb. But if there is a mistake in pronunciation, the teacher says no and the student should put the card back in its place. It's in the game again and another player can choose it and the student who made a mistake can try another card. When one minute is over, count the cards and write the result on the board. Put the cards all around the classroom again and play with the second team and the third team. After every team has played, count the results and congratulate the winner. It's the team who has got more points. The next game is called Line Up Game. This game is perfect for larger groups of 20-30 students. To play it, you will need verbs on the cards again. The only difference is that this time there should be not only the first form of the verb, for example, like this, begin, but also the second, began, and the third, begun. And the same for every verb, drink, drank, drunk, take, took, taken. Put them all around the classroom, face down, and divide your students into teams. But this time, the number of players should be a multiple of three. For example, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. And the number of, and the total number of cards should be equal to the number of players in the team. Uh, if there is a team of nine players, there are nine cards, nine divided by three, three, three irregular verbs for a group of nine students. Teams will play in turns and every team will have 20 seconds to complete the task. When you say, a ready, steady, go. Every student should pick up one card and hold it like this for all the other students to see what form it is. So they should first look around to find out who else has got forms of the same verb. For example, if they have begun, they should look for somebody who has got begin, began, and then they should get together into mini groups of three and line up in the correct order according to the verb form they have. For example, begun. It's the third form. So my place in this line will be number three. When the time is over, give one point to every mini group for the verb forms in the correct order and you can add one more point if they can translate and pronounce the verb forms correctly. And then invite the other team to play. In the end, count the results and congratulate the winner. The winner is the team which has got more points. If you like this game, I'm sure you will also like my ebook ASL Games for School from teachers all over the world. There are games for three levels, vocabulary games, grammar games, games with flashcards. The link is in the description box. Check it out today. And the last game for today is called Balloon Duel. This game is more suitable for smaller groups of 5-10 students. 
Divide students into teams, but the game is played in pairs. Ask two students from different teams to play the game. Uh, they should stand facing each other at a distance. Uh, and you can put a desk between them to divide the space. Gently, with a finger, they should play the balloon, touching it and making it fly from one player to the other, like this. One touch, one form of a regular verb. Drink, drank, drunk, speak, spoke, spoken. Mind you, they can only touch the balloon with a finger. They can't grab and hold it for some time, thinking, oh, what verb form do I need? No, no, no. Gently and quickly, like this. Speak, spoke, spoken. Break, broke, broken. If any of the players makes a mistake in pronunciation or doesn't remember what to say and the balloon falls on the floor, and even if the player touches the balloon but doesn't say anything, then this game is over. Uh, the winner gets a point and you invite two other players from different teams to play. After all the members of the teams have played, count the results and congratulate the winner. If you like games with balls and balloons, Check out my ebook ESL Ball Games. The link is in the description box as usual. In the next video, I will share with you an amazing spelling game that will help your students remember how to write irregular verb forms correctly. So don't miss it. Stay with me, come back. Don't forget to subscribe and switch on the notification bell. And see you again on the channel SL Games and Teaching Tips.